Welcome to the BC Design Channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick tabletop review of the Leatherman Surge Multi-Tool. The tool has 21 different functions and comes with its own nylon sheet. I have three Leathermans here for comparison. I have the Freestyle, the Rebar and the Surge. As you can see the Surge is quite a lot bigger than the Freestyle or the Rebar. It's a much heavier tool. So if you don't like carrying a heavy multi-tool around on your belt, this isn't the tool for you. I'd go for the Rebar or the Freestyle or maybe one of the Skelly tools. The Surge has a nice size knife with a nice profile to it. The knife and also the serrated knife are made from 420 high carbon steel. They both lock, so you have to press the button to push them back in. And it can be done one handed, of course. When you open up the tool, you have the needle nose pliers, your normal pliers. They're fairly beefy. They're not weak by any means. Then you have your replaceable hard wire cutters, which is great. So if you get little nicks in the blades from cutting something that's a bit too big, you can replace them. Then you have your soft wire cutters and your crimpers in here. You have a small screwdriver, a large screwdriver, and then you're all, when you open them singly, they lock. So to close them back in, you have to push it. That releases it to close again. On this side, we have your bit driver. It comes with one bit of flat side and a Phillips side. To close it back in, you have to push on it again. Close it back. Then to get the bottle opener and can opener out. Same thing, it locks in when you open it. Press the button and close it back over. On the surge, you also have the blade exchanger. You push up on the edge of the exchanger, slide it across. You can take out the file and put in the jigsaw style blade for cutting wood that's supplied. Then just close it back over. You can also use other jigsaw blades that you can buy in a hardware shop. I've seen people on reviews uh, using them as well. The file that comes with it has a wooden metal side and a diamond side. I found this piece of chain. Just gonna test out the hard wire cutters. The surge cuts it easy. The rebar also cuts it easily enough, but you just have to put a little bit more pressure on it than on the surge. The surge has longer handles and there's a bit more mass to the tool, but the rebar still does a good job. I don't know if you can see that that well, but there's no damage to the cutters. There's none on the rebar either, apart from a bit of cosmetic damage where it's after rubbing off the sort of a black oxide finish. I won't try it with the freestyle because it hasn't got the replaceable cutter and it's much smaller tool. I say you'd have to put a good bit of force on it to get it to cut that chain. Next I'm going to test out the screwdriver. 
This is the Philips one. Works well enough to screw it half into the bench because I wasn't paying attention to how far I was going through with it. The screwdriver and the rebar is a fixed Phillips type. It actually fits the screw a bit better because it's not the narrow type of bit like that's in the in the surge. It's a bit more comfortable to use as well because the body of the tool is smaller in your hand. Just if you notice the profile of the Phillips screwdriver and bow tools. It's much narrower on this bit on the surge, which means when you put it into the screw, it has a bit more play in the top of the screw head. Whereas the one on the rebar fits perfectly in there. There's not much play. So I'd actually probably prefer the screwdriver on that because it's just a bit easier to use but it's still very good in the surge. I wouldn't really have much complaints with it. To test the surge's serrated blade. I'm going to use the work rag. It's basically an old t-shirt that I use for cleaning up glue squeeze out. Just knot it up a bit. Easily cuts through that. No bother to it. I'm just going to test the saw out cutting this piece of pine. Makes quick work of the pine, but it's a nice little blade and it's fairly heavy. It's not the usual light sort of saw blade you get in most multi tools. I'm also going to give the rebar a saw a go. The rebar saw is not as easy to cut with. It's a bit thinner, so there's a bit more movement on the blade as you're cutting. And also it's hard enough to get your cut started. I'd much prefer using the blade on the surge. Both of the tools came with a nylon sheet. This is the one off the rebar. Velcro. I don't know if they're sort of a one size fit fits all, but it's kind of loose inside the case. But if you wanted to carry Ant Nelson there, then you, you do have an extra bit of space. The thing I don't like about it is the Velcro. I much prefer the case like this for the Surge. 
has a space back there to keep the file or extra jigsaw blades in. But when you put the tool into it, it fills up the pouch. You also have a piece of elastic there on the outside that you can stick some bits into or a bit extension. And the best thing about it is that it closes with a button instead of Velcro. A nice positive closing button. On the rebar, it comes with the sort of a mall type attachment. And on the surge, you just get your normal belt loop. But I wish they all came with this style of uh, nylon sheet. I much prefer the button closing than Velcro. So in conclusion, if I could only pick one of these tools, I'd take the surge. It's bigger, heavier and easier to use for most tasks I find. But if I wanted a nice light tool to carry around every day and I didn't like the heavy pocket tools, I'd definitely go for the rebar. It's also a great tool. It's just smaller and with that it means that some of the tools are lighter, thinner and not as easy to use as on the surge. Thanks very much for watching. Keep an eye out for my next video. I'm going to be making five small projects using only the Letterman Surge Multi-Tool.